Hello, I'm Ms. Carla, and welcome to the Cumberland County Public Library virtual program. Today I'm going to talk to you about unusual pets as part of our summer reading program. And now I'm going to show you my unusual pet, the chinchilla. Don't worry, I am not harming them by lifting them up from by their tail. That's the way you're supposed to um, get the chinchilla. This chinchilla right here is Mason, and he's a standard chinchilla, meaning he's just a gray chinchilla. See, there's Mason. This next chinchilla I'm, I'm pulling out is Houdini, and I'm pretty sure you all know why he has his name, Houdini, and Houdini is a mosaic chinchilla. And next, see, this is why we call Houdini Houdini, <laughs> is Shadow. And Shadow is an ebony chinchilla, meaning that he is all black. See, let's show your belly. See, he's black on his belly. I hope you can see it. And so those are my boys. First up, we have Cheerio. Now Cheerio looks like Mason, she's a little darker, except she is from the Paloma line of chinchillas. There's little, there's Cheerio. This is Ivory. You can tell they're nervous. Ivory looks like Houdini, except she's kind of a mutation because she has like the little black spot on her body. So that makes her a little different, but she is a mosaic. She's just like a little mutant. Okay, and last but not least, I have Ebony. Come on, baby girl. Come on. And Ebony is a black velvet. And as you can see, she's black on the, on the top, and her belly is like a white or a silver color. That's why she is a black velvet. And those are my chinchillas. Okay, and now I'm going to sh show you how chinchillas take baths. This is Houdini. We're going to see if he'll take a dust bath. So while Shadow is taking his dust bath, I'm going to tell you a few facts about chinchillas. First, chinchillas originated in the Andes Mountains, and they have got their name from the Chincha people, the Chincha Indians of South America, who used to use their fur to keep warm. An uh, explorer by the name of Matthias F. Chapman first brought the chinchilla over to the United States, and he started breeding them. Chinchillas are part of the rodent family, um, so they are constantly chewing. Their teeth are constantly growing. Um, baby chinchillas are called kits. The female chinchillas are larger than the male chinchillas. Uh, all chinchillas can spray. Uh, female chinchillas are better at spraying than the male chinchillas. The females can um, spray up to 10 feet and they are incredibly accurate. So when you purchase a chinchilla, if you choose to get one, you're going to need a metal cage with no wire bottom. Um, they usually have a plastic bottom, or you can buy metal pans to put in the bottom of the cage. If you, use, if you choose the cage with the plastic bottom, 
you have to cover the plastic with some fleece because if you don't, they will chew the plastic. Um, as far as their diet, they have extremely sensitive digestive systems. So my guys are on a diet that their breeder was feeding them. It's a rabbit food and I buy it like in 25 pound bags and I think it's called deluxe show hutch rabbit food and it's just strictly rabbit food. You don't want to feed them anything with the dehydrated carrots and the seeds because that is not good for them. Um, they have to have hay, either Western Timothy hay or alfalfa hay. Um, they can eat shredded wheat plain, but that's a treat for them. They can have oatmeal, but the oats plain. They can have Cheerios plain. And they, there are other um, items that they can have, like rose hips, and that's specifically for the chinchilla. When you're giving them water, do not put a water bowl in their um, cage because if they get wet, as you can see by how dense their fur is, it's extremely difficult to dry. That's why they take dust baths. And if they get wet, fungus could set in their fur. Um, if you give them water, you need to make sure that it is filtered. You can use distilled water, or if you're filtering your water yourself, it's like you filter it, then you filter it again because you don't want any type of bacteria or anything getting into their system. A few more interesting facts about chinchillas. They need to be in a cool place, no hotter than 70 degrees. They are crepuscular, meaning that they're active at dawn and at dusk. Um, they can live for 20 years in captivity. They are um, hyperallergenic, so if you're allergic to cats or dogs, a chinchilla might be a good pet for you. And um, the best place to purchase a chinchilla is from a breeder or a rescue because you will be get a better quality chinchilla. I hope you enjoyed today's program. Please tell us about your unusual pet in the comments below. And for more programming and information, please visit our website, www.cumberland.lib.nc.us for more programming and to check out books. See you next time.